Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our second class on Playgrounds and Swift 2.0 using Xcode and iOS 9. Those of you that are attending live through GoToWebinar, I'll take your questions at the end after I stop the uh, YouTube recording. And those of you that are listening to the YouTube uh, channel, uh, feel free to visit my website at excelme.com. Click on the free videos and you can sign up for the free um, go to webinar session so you can attend live or you can um, see the, uh, the, re the previously recorded YouTube videos that are out there as well as um, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And those of you that are listening live, you can um, ask questions at the end on chapter two or anything else that you're working on with um, iOS or tvOS development. And again, we'll be going over chapter two tonight in my book. So let's go ahead and start where we left off on uh, class number one. So we talked a little bit about playgrounds last time and, um, and strings and how to, how to use playgrounds and at least how to view the data as we're working. So there are two different types of variables with uh, Swift. One are called constants. They're denoted by using the word let. That means once we assign a value to a constant, we can never change it again. However, var means that we can vary, we can change it. It is mutable, changeable, whereas a constant is non-mutable, okay? So we can see that right here. If I went to do something like new string is equal to, hello, okay? If I try to do that, I'm going to get a little compiler error, as you see here, with the red telling me, hey, uh, this was uh, set as a let last time, and I'm recommending if you want to change it, I'm going to let you change it to a var, and it will make the change for us to a var, and we can do that. But we don't want to do that. Um, let's go ahead, and we can change str here, our string, um, to whatever we'd like now, because it is varied. It, it varies, it changes. So one of the data types that we use a lot are strings. It, um, it is um, denoted here by making an assignment to something in double quotes, a string of characters. We can also explicitly declare it by using the name string, which is more readable here. It kind of tells us that, um, that this guy Oops, 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 sorry, wrong line, the wrong line. It needs to be right here where it's declared. And it's of type string. We can do um, something like var uh, my age is equal to 29. It knows that it's of type integer. An integer is a number, a whole number, no decimal, positive or negative. It also implies this, okay? We can explicitly declare it by doing that. It makes it more readable for the developers. I'll do that a lot on my classes, even though the compiler knows what type it is. If I'm have, there's some confusion what type it is, I'll, I'll put that in there. It is optional, okay? Um, we can do um, my, uh, sorry, var my height is equal to uh, 60.5, okay? And we can see the assignments take place over here, but my height is of type float, meaning that it ha a float is a value um, that is positive or negative that has a decimal point. And it could look something like this. Okay. Okay, so those are the main data types. You cannot um, easily um, uh, mix and match your data type. So you couldn't say something like this. STR is equal to STR plus and uh, my age. So here I'm trying to add a string to a int. D no, it doesn't work that way. So in chapter two and chapter three, I talk a lot about data types, 
different types of data that we can store and how we can use it in um, Xcode and storyboards. And this is kind of an example um, of that. If you would uh, like to ask any questions, those of you that are attending live, feel free to type your question in the question panel to go to webinar control panel. Those of you that are watching through YouTube, like I said in the beginning, visit my website, excelme.com, and you can sign up for the free webinars as well. We go through the book and anything else you'd like to talk about in, um, in iOS development. And, um, and then also su subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll be automatically notified anytime I upload a new video. Thanks for attending and look forward to seeing you in two weeks. Every other Monday, I do these live and the schedule's posted on the free section of my website. Have a great week and we'll see you in two weeks. Thanks, everybody.